Have you ever wondered why Grace Kelly, with her timeless elegance, is still a beauty icon today? Here at Lucrative Elegance, we're going to unveil secrets that go beyond a princess's wardrobe. Did you know that science has a lot to say about being attractive? And no, we're not just talking about lipsticks and dresses. We're talking about charm, charisma, and that spark that makes someone stand out in any room. Carol here, and today we're going to explore four surprisingly simple ways to boost your attractiveness, all backed by science. And no, it's not just about having a pretty face or a perfect body. It's about something deeper, something anyone can cultivate. Remember Oprah Winfrey? Yes, that powerful woman who conquered the world with her authenticity and intelligence. She's not just a celebrity, she's a living example of how charisma and confidence can work wonders. Before we dive into this fascinating world, don't forget, if you enjoy content that blends fashion, elegance, and a touch of personal wisdom, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. It helps a lot and ensures you don't miss any valuable tips. Now let's get to the heart of the matter. Are you ready to discover what really attracts people? It's not just a charming smile or a nice perfume. It's something you might never have imagined. One, reciprocity of attraction. Have you ever noticed how it's easier to connect with someone who shows genuine interest in you? This phenomenon, known as reciprocal liking or reciprocity of attraction, is a powerful social tool. Take Oprah Winfrey, for example. She always had the ability to make her guests and audience feel valued and understood, which in turn increased her own attraction and influence. It's fascinating how mutual interest can trigger a deeper connection. But what really happens when someone shows they like us? Let's put it in context. Imagine you're at a social event, maybe a bit uncomfortable in a room full of strangers. Suddenly, someone approaches and tells you, you know, Carol, I heard someone complimenting your style and elegance. How would you feel? Probably more inclined to like that person, right? This is the power of reciprocal liking in action. It's like a reflex. When someone values us, we're naturally driven to return that feeling. Now think about Friends, a show many of us love. Remember the chemistry between Ross and Rachel? Part of what made them so attractive to each other was the perception that their feelings were mutual. In our own lives, reciprocity might not be as dramatic as in a TV series, but the essence is the same. When someone shows interest in us, our brain encourages us to reciprocate. It's a delicate dance of giving and receiving, which can lead to more meaningful and lasting relationships. But how can you apply this in practice? It's simpler than it seems. Start by showing genuine interest in the people around you. Comment on something you admire in them. Listen attentively when they speak and show appreciation for their efforts and achievements. Small gestures like a sincere smile or a well-placed compliment can go a long way. And remember, elegance is not just in how we dress, but also in how we treat others. By creating an environment of reciprocal liking, you not only become more attractive, but also enrich your interactions and build more authentic and rewarding relationships. Two, body language. Did you know that small details in your body language can reveal a lot about your emotions and intentions? Nonverbal signals like leaning forward and maintaining eye contact are powerful communication tools, especially in the world of fashion and elegance, where first impressions count heavily. When you lean forward during a conversation, you're signaling interest and engagement, showing that you're truly involved in what the other person is saying. This creates a deeper connection and shows that you are present in the moment, a highly attractive quality. And eye contact? It's crucial. Think about the great icons of elegance and charm we know. They capture attention not only with their clothes, but with their gaze. Maintaining eye contact demonstrates confidence and sincerity, creating a bond of trustworthiness. Imagine being in a meeting or even on a casual date. Your gaze can convey so many messages, interest, appreciation, even curiosity. But remember, everything in moderation. Too intense a stare can be intimidating, so it's essential to find the right balance. And posture? Posture is the key to conveying confidence and elegance. Studies show that an open and relaxed posture not only improves your image in the eyes of others, but can also influence how you feel inside. An upright posture with shoulders back is not only beneficial for your physical health, but also conveys an image of self-assurance and control. Practice this in front of the mirror. Adjust your posture, try different poses, and see how it changes your perception of yourself and, consequently, how others react to you. Incorporating these small adjustments into your body language can have a significant impact on how you're perceived and how you feel in different social settings. 
Elegance and attraction go beyond the clothes we wear. They manifest in the way we present ourselves to the world. So the next time you're in a social situation, remember these tips. Lean in to show interest. Maintain eye contact to create a genuine connection and adjust your posture to radiate confidence. These are the simple yet powerful secrets to being more attractive and captivating. Three, positive presence. Positive presence is like an invisible superpower in human communication. Have you ever noticed how some people have the ability to light up a room with their presence while others seem to bring a cloud of negativity? This is positive presence in action. People with a positive presence have the remarkable ability to make others feel good, regardless of how they feel inside. They are like the sun on a cloudy day, offering warmth and light even when facing their own internal storms. But how do they do it? A significant part of positive presence lies in the ability to regulate one's own emotions and those of others. We all experience emotional highs and lows throughout the day, irritation, excitement, sadness. The question is, can you control these emotions so as not to negatively affect those around you? Think of someone like Tom Hanks. His warm and authentic presence in movies and interviews illustrates this concept well. He seems like someone who, despite his own challenges, has the ability to make those around him feel comfortable and valued. This doesn't mean that he or anyone else with a positive affective presence is always happy or is hiding their true feelings. In fact, it's about finding a healthy balance between expressing genuine emotions and maintaining a positive environment for others. However, it's important to remember that it's not always healthy to suppress your emotions just to keep others comfortable. This can lead to emotional burnout, and in some cases, people might even use this ability for manipulative purposes. As with all things, moderation is key. Also, an excess of optimism can be just as harmful as constant negativity. You probably know someone who is overly positive to the point of seeming dishonest, which can be equally irritating. Therefore, in developing your positive presence, the goal is to find a balance. Allow yourself to feel and express your emotions, but also learn to regulate them in a way that positively contributes to the well-being of those around you. Being able to do this not only enhances your social attractiveness, but also helps build more authentic and meaningful relationships. Four, we like what we understand. Understanding is a fascinating two-way street, especially when it comes to attraction and relationships. Have you ever noticed how easy it is to feel attracted to someone when you feel that you truly understand them? This sense of mutual understanding creates a deep connection, almost as if unlocking a more intimate level of intimacy and trust. Think about your favorite characters from TV shows or movies. Why do you connect so deeply with them? Often, it's because you feel that you understand them on a personal level. You see their struggles, their victories, and something inside you resonates with their stories. This same principle applies to our interpersonal relationships. When we feel that we understand someone, their motivations, their fears, their dreams, we create a strong emotional bond with that person. Similarly, being understood by someone is incredibly attractive. Think about how you feel when someone really listens to you, not just hears your words, but understands your emotions, your unspoken thoughts. There's immense comfort in being understood like this and it naturally draws us to the person who offers us that level of understanding. But how does this translate into practice? It starts with active listening and empathy. When you're conversing with someone, really pay attention. Listen not only with your ears, but also with your heart. Try to understand not just what the person is saying, but also what they are feeling. And when sharing about yourself, be open and authentic. Allow others to see your true essence. This will help them to understand you better. Don't forget, Understanding and being understood isn't just about agreeing with everything the other person says. It's about recognizing their experiences, validating them, and through this, creating a genuine connection. This mutual understanding is an essential part of attraction and can lead to richer, more satisfying relationships. By practicing understanding and being open to being understood, you not only increase your attractiveness, but also significantly enrich your human interactions. I want to ask you a question. Are you ready to put these tips into practice and see transformations in your social and personal life? Remember, attraction goes far beyond appearance. It resides in how we present ourselves, interact, and connect with others. But wait, there's more for you. If you found these tips helpful, you can't miss the next video, Seven Things That Make You More Attractive, where we dive even deeper into the world of self-improvement and elegance. And here's a little spoiler. You're going to love the surprises we have in store for you there. Oh, I have a little secret to share. In the first pinned comment below, I've left an exclusive link to my favorite skincare products. 
These are the allies that help me maintain my glow and confidence, and I'm sure you'll love them too. I have one more question. Which of these four ways are you going to try first? Share in the comments, I'd love to know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give that wonderful like so you don't miss any of our exclusive and empowering content. Until next time, stay elegant and radiant and remember, true beauty shines from the inside out. See you soon on Lucrative Elegance.